Hey guys, it is literally the hottest day um, of spring so far. Um, I think it's gonna hit mid 90s today. Um, right now it feels like 100. So, and of course today I have chosen to take you guys around the our backyard garden and the greenhouse to just kind of take a look and see what we got set up. So. Let's hope I don't melt in this heat and we'll get started. So it's actually the evening now. It was way too hot for me to film before. So I'm just gonna show you guys around the flower bed and then we'll take a look at the greenhouse. Okay. So over here, so this is my flower bed. Um, it just goes in like a L shape. Okay. So over here I have a few hookras. Um, this is a hookra. Oh my goodness, I don't remember the name. Um, if I remember, I'll put it on the screen. But this is. A really nice darker colored hookra. It's growing really nicely. Um, and then the one next to it, this is hookra coral bells or something like that. No, hookra apricot. Yeah. Okay. And then I have another one of the darker hookras. And the reason why we have two of these is because my husband liked this color. Um, so he picked out this one. And then I just have some tags in the back there, just to kind of remind myself what they are. And then over here I have a rhododendron. And I have the name of this, let's see, rhododendron... Oh, I don't know, I can't see. But um, yeah. It's not in bloom right now. It actually finished blooming um, during early spring or middle of spring. So now it's just uh, pushing out the new leaves. And then next to that, I have an azalea. And also, it's not in bloom anymore. Um, if I have any photos of them when they were in bloom, I will included because they are really pretty when they are in bloom but it is past their blooming season now so um, the foliage is also really pretty so I don't know if you guys can see but down there you can see some of the darker foliage and that's the older foliage and then this is all new growth okay so moving on this was the last one to bloom um, this is another azalea and you can see these are all dried blooms these are all dried blooms um, the blooms haven't even fallen off yet and then the new growth is like this so these are all different types um, and the blooms are different colors too and then next to that I have one of my favorites I think I think this may be my favorite in the whole garden this is a French pussy willow um, I it's Again, not in bloom right now, but when it is blooming, the the blooms are actually just really fuzzy little things and they're really cute. So not much is in bloom because this was planted as a spring garden um, and it's been really hot here so a lot of the blooms have come and gone. So yeah, so this is pretty tall. I think I would say this is taller than me. I could back up. Better. I 
idea. Okay. And then next to that, I have another azalea. This is a smaller one. Um, also, just finished blooming. The bloom, the, the blooms on this one, I believe, is like bright red or something. But yeah, now it's just pushing me both again. Ooh, I hope I'm not getting bit. Okay, and then I just have two more little plants. I wish I had done this a little sooner when this was still blooming. This is a candy tuff plant um, and it has white blooms all around like a little bush. But now obviously it's, it's all gone. But it does still have like a little bit left. Um, you can see better on the other one. I have another one of these. And then that over there is a pin cushion, but I'll show you better on the other one. Let me just go around and finish the flower bed first. Okay, so I hope I'm not getting bit. This is one of my favorites. This is a rock foil, and it just has the most dainty and beautiful blooms. Again, this is not its prime anymore. At one point, it was really full and really gorgeous. Um, so whatever this is, it's just left over. And then next to that, I have another um, pincushion flower. So it's a, it has purple blooms, the one that I have at least. Okay, another rock foil. You can see a lot of the blooms are spent now. And then another pin cushion. I love pin cushions. They are just really pretty and easy care. So again, past its prime, but we still have some coming up and some older ones. And then this is the other candy top that I have. Um, you can still see a little bit of the blooms. It's really pretty. Okay, and then the last two here, wow, these are gorgeous. These are actually alliums. Um, I believe they are allium serendipities. So I think most alliums bloom in early spring or spring, but these specific types are um, summer bloomers or June bloomers. And so they work on pushing out foliage. And these are the only ones in the garden that are um, carried over from last year. So they actually came back. They died off completely. There was nothing there. Um, and they came back so strong. I mean, they are absolutely amazing. And now that I'm looking at it, I can actually see the blooms coming up. Do you see it? How amazing is that? Oh my god, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for blooms. <gasps> They're coming. Oh my gosh, it's going to be such a show. Um, I'm so excited. I mean, even without the blooms, I think they look amazing. Yeah. Okay, so that is my little flower bed area. So now I'm gonna show you guys just this little area by my... <clears throat> this is a myrtle tree that we had planted when we redid this whole area. Um, it was just bare branches when it was planted in March, I believe. Um, and now it is all leafed out. Um, we don't expect it to bloom this year, since it's the first year we planted it. So we're excited to see what happens next year. We're just happy it's actually leafing out and it's really nice. It really, it looks really nice in this corner. The sun is setting now, so the lighting I don't think is the best, but this is the it's just it was just too hot this this afternoon. Okay, and then I underplanted the tree with some cute little plants. Some I just ugh, I've never seen them before. So I'm gonna start over here. These are called Avens. Um, this is actually the first time I've seen them. They the blooms are like little they look like dried flowers um, they're so pretty I just could not and what drew me to them was that even when they're spent they still look really pretty they look like dried flowers like I said um, so yeah so I picked up two of them there's another one over here and then I have two lupines 
that's how you pronounce it. Um, so you can see how pretty that is. Um, the actual reason I got this particular plant is actually because of the foliage. I love this foliage. Oh my goodness. This is something I would buy if it was a house plant. Um, anyway, so this is the lupine um, chandelier or something. And then this one, you can see the foliage is darker and bigger. This one is lupine um, governor or something, Mr. Governor. Yeah, something like that. And the bloom is actually, if I could get a purple and white. How pretty, right? Okay, so let's walk into the greenhouse. Ooh, sunset is so pretty. Okay, so let's walk into the greenhouse. To be honest, I don't have much in here. Um, so I have a bistro set. Um, this is an ivy geranium. Um, I love the bloom color and also the foliage. It is so pretty. It's actually a little bit sun stressed. It's really hard foliage. Um, the bloom is a little spent on this one here, but it has new blooms coming out. Okay. And then hanging, I have a Mandula pothos here. And a Hoya Wybergier, or formerly Wybergier. Um, this is the one with the purple splash, but uh, after putting in the greenhouse, it kind of disappeared. Oh, here you can see some. A little bit pinkish, maybe? Yeah. I'm. This is the only Hoya I have out here. I'm trying to decide if it's going to be happy or not, because I'm still testing it out. So yeah. Okay, um, so I have a potting bench in the back there, and another potting bench here, but <laughs> this one I use mainly for potting actually. The height is a little bit better, um, so I just use this for display, and I really like the backing on this one. Okay, it's actually getting pretty hot. What is in here? 88? Oh jeez, okay. Alright, anyways, I have a potting tarp, uh, tarp or potting mat hanging to dry. Um, and then I'll show you guys. Over here I have my infamous fiddle, my ficus lyrata, who is now leafing out. And I showed you guys in my last video. Um, and then over here I have a uh, my Ripsalis Paradoxa Minor. And then I have another ivy geranium. This one, the flower is gorgeous. It's like double tone or dual tone. Um, more blooms coming. The leaf, I think, um, it, it got way too much light. Um, so I kind of pulled it back now. It was sitting up there, up here. Okay, and then I got some succulents. Succulents, I love this jelly some succulent propagations okay oh and then down here I have some more succulents I mainly put succulents in the greenhouse because I'm just testing out the light oh this one <laughs> this is a funny one this one is actually my raindrop pepperoni Sorry, raindrop echeverias um, that I beheaded because they looked really bad um, after after winter. So I chopped them all up and then I was trying to see if they will grow back and they are. Look at that. <gasps> so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so that's just what that is. Um, this here is a plant. It's a it's a bulbous plant. I have a lot of spring bulbs that are now past their prime and I'm just letting them continue to turn yellow um, so that they can absorb as much energy as possible to store for next year 
and hopefully they'll come back. Um, I'll put the name of this particular one on the screen because I forgot the name. Oli Garanth or something? Yeah. Um, and then over here I just have another Mandula Potos. Yeah. Okay. And then here I have my Philodendron Mikan's baby. Um, another succulent arrangement. Succulents do great out here. Um, my totem pole cactus, I think it's called. Yeah, maybe. And I have my Philodendron Florida ghost. Look how sun bleached it is. Um, Anyways, yeah, this was actually one of the first philodendrons that I put out here um, just to kind of see how it would react because it, it, I didn't like the way it was growing to begin with um, because the leaves are pointing down like this. I actually grew this from a wet stick, like that wet stick right there, um, but it has a new leaf coming. So um, I'm, I was actually pretty shocked to be honest. I didn't think it was happy here, but I'm excited to see what happens with this guy. So we will see. Um, I know sometimes when we move plants from inside our house out to the greenhouse or outside, it takes them some time to acclimate and sometimes they might lose quite a bit of leaf or what you call inside leaves and then they'll put out new outdoor leaves but I don't know if that's the case here, I'll, I'll have to wait and see but I am, I am happy about that. Um, this is just a little Syngonium. Um, it actually um, used to be a variegated elbow syngonium. Um, this was the uh, reverted portion of it, so I kind of chopped it to separate it out, and then I just kind of um, potted it up. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, and then I have another succulent arrangement. I love seeing my succulents out here. They look so good out in the greenhouse. And then more succulents. Woo. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys are actually into succulents. I don't think a lot of people are that follow my channel. Um, but yeah. And then I, this bench, I just have a lot of my terracottas that I use for potting. And down here I have the larger terracottas and I have some rocks. And then on this bench... Um... <laughs> Let me move this. Eh. Okay. And then on this bench, I have just um, a few empty pots there. And then down there, I just have some tools, a watering can, um, some top dressing, some empty nursery pots, things like that. So not really that much in here, to be honest. Um, but I like hanging out here, so I don't want too much clutter. I don't really need that many plants out here, but it's nice to slowly transition some plants. Um, and that's what I've been doing. I've just been kind of slowly moving some plants one by one because I, I can't risk moving all of them at once and then them being not happy. So yeah. Anyways, that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed. It has been really hot and really hot and really hard to do anything really. So yeah, I will sign off here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, I signed off a little too early. I forgot about my geraniums out here. So I have here one of my geraniums that are so pretty. None of my geranium, um, these are not in bloom anymore. Um, they were blooming uh, earlier in the spring. But yeah, now I'm just enjoying the leaves. They're so pretty. And then I have one more. I just need to show you guys how gorgeous the sunset is. Oh my goodness, let me get on my deck. You can see better when I walk up my deck. Okay. Whew. Oh yeah, by the way, so these are some of, <laughs> none of these are in their prime anymore, 
so I wish I had shown you earlier except for these these are dianthus that came back they're actually supposed to be annuals but they came back this year um, last year we just kind of left them in the pot and they died back so but they are so pretty and then these are actually all bulbs here these are bulbs and then these are all bulbs as well so we're just waiting for them to finish um, finish yellowing out I guess so once they're all yellow and dried like that we will cut them back and then store them this is actually a mix of tulips um, hyacinths uh, what else daffodils and I don't know what else is in here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't remember. I guess they'll be surprised if they come back. Okay, so we are gonna walk onto the deck. I'm gonna show you the last plant that I have out here, which is another geranium, but how gorgeous is this? Look at how pretty. I know it is very sun-stressed, but I love it. It's so pretty. Yeah. All right, now I'm signing off, but let me just show you guys <gasps> how gorgeous. All right, that is it, guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.